This is a question that I've been asked many times by viewers over the years and still continues to be asked. And the answer is not a very simple one size fits all. And there are several variables that will dictate firstly, if you should send money to your Filipino girlfriend and secondly, if so, then how much to send. And even the second one I mentioned has more variables within itself. Sounds confusing? Well, no, not really. And I'll explain as simply as possible in this video so it's all very clear to you for your personal circumstances by the end. So to get full value, watch the entire video and be sure to stay with me here. Just quickly, if you're looking to date a Filipina and don't know where to start, then why not check out my affiliate link in the pinned comment and description to the Philippines' number one dating site where it's free to create an account and view tens of thousands of beautiful Filipina profiles right now. So the very first factor we need to look at is how long have you known your Filipina girlfriend for? And I use the term girlfriend loosely here. What I mean by this is if you've only known her online for a short time, let's say just a few months, then you're still getting to know her and she's really what I call a chat mate and not a girlfriend. Generally speaking, one could consider her your girlfriend once you guys meet in person. However, in such times with COVID preventing people from meeting each other face to face, one could consider themselves as a couple, perhaps after five to six months of solid chatting online where no red flags or concerns have been raised. It's certainly my view to ensure that she's genuine and you feel that she's right for you and she feels you're right for her. Then anything less than five months of knowing each other, no money at all should be sent for any reason. And I'll tell you why. As I mentioned, you guys are still getting to know one another and you need to know what her real intentions are. This can only be found over several months of solid communication, or better yet, meeting face to face in person where you both spend quality time together. Anything less? Then I believe you can't possibly know the Filipina well enough to be sending her money. We all know and have heard of Filipina love scammers, and yes, there are plenty out there looking to make a living from foreign guys. Now, does this mean the Filipina you're chatting with is going to scam you? And the answer is no, not at all. But the plain truth of the matter is we don't know and it's that simple. If she is genuine, she won't be expecting anything more than getting to know you in the first five to six months at least. And if she's expecting more than that, then that should raise a big red flag for you to carefully consider. Now, what I've said here is all true, with one exception in my view. And as I pointed out in a previous video, if one's looking to chat with Filipinas, then the right thing to do would be to send her a small amount to cover her expenses in chatting with you online. Credit, or load as they call it in the Philippines, may be hard for her to buy, depending upon her circumstances, of course, but for you, it will cost around 10 or so dollars per month. Look at this as not a gift to her, but an expense in finding the right Filipina for you. But be very sure, within that first six month period, that's as much as you send. Otherwise, you may open yourself up wide to regretting it later. Now let's assume that you've met her in person or even you may be living as an expat in the Philippines and you've been seeing her for a few months and all is going well. Then this may be the time when we may feel that we want to help her out a little more by sending or giving her some money each month. Now this is where the lines can become a little blurred so to speak and we need to think carefully around how much we'll give her. 
You don't want to be fully subsidising her entire lifestyle. And it's important to allow her to still be as independent as possible whilst just making her life a little easier. Think of it much in the same way as you would if you were dating a woman in your country. You may still buy her a small gift for her birthday or Christmas, and if you went out on a date together, you may pay for the date, and certainly, I believe, if you're with her in the Philippines, then certainly pay for the date. Now, as far as an allowance each month, for those that wish to do so at this point in the relationship, then one needs to look at factors like where does she live in the Philippines and how much is the average cost of living there? In other words, what rent does she pay? How much is the cost of food, the cost of electricity, transport and so on? Now one must know these costs will vary greatly from cities to provinces and even the different provinces throughout the Philippines will vary greatly in cost. The next factor to consider is if she lives on her own or if she lives with her parents and siblings. This is very important because you need to understand that when you send money to her, she may very well see it as money for all the family. If she lives with the family, then you need to consider if you'll send more to help all the family or just a smaller amount that she hopefully will get by on. The next thing to consider is if she has a job and how much does that job pay? And of course, if she has a job, then the amount you send may be less than if she doesn't have a job. But as I say, you don't want to be fully subsidising her life, but more so making her life easier than it was before. Now to the final consideration in working out how much to send your Filipina girlfriend is around you and your circumstances. What's your cost of living? Do you have a job and how much can you send her each month that won't make you struggle or miss that amount of money? One must know that what one person thinks is not much to send, another may think that's far too much. Simply, if you have a high paying job and pretty well set up in life with no money problems, then one could be a little more generous. However, if one works hard and is on an average wage where you need to keep a reasonably tight budget, then you'll need a more realistic figure that you can afford and won't break the bank. Having said all this and hopefully given you much to consider depending on her and your circumstances, there is no answer I or anyone else can give you for a specific amount of money. I hear some people say, just send 3,000 pesos a month. And then others say, send 15 or 20,000 pesos a month. And yet, both could be appropriate depending upon the individual circumstances. Once you work out the things I've mentioned in this video around time frames, her situation and your situation in life, then what I say is this. And that is, send whatever it is that you're comfortable in sending to her each month without causing any financial issues for yourself that you could regret later on. And certainly, forget about any big investments such as buying land or houses and businesses until you're very sure about the relationship and most probably have been married. So all up, plenty for you to consider. And I'd love to hear your thoughts around time frames and how much to send a Filipina in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not hit the join button below and become a channel member for just 99 cents US per month and get some really cool perks available to no one else. Be very sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.